All right, all right, all right. We are in Sykeston, Missouri. Trucks, Volvo place. And we are getting the truck worked on. Yeah, they're gonna replace our seal. They'll get to us right after lunch. Uh, we should be out of here. We gotta let it set for two hours after they seal it up. So maybe six, seven o'clock tonight, something like that. So we'll be good. Yeah, we'll be good. Uh, we didn't start this morning until maybe around eight o'clock or so. So we're good till what, 10 o'clock tonight. And I think we're maybe two hours from Memphis, something like that. Not that far, Sykes, and we're inside Missouri. So we won't have that far to go. So we're gonna go ahead and drop the trailer. We're gonna pull in line up there. He said they'll get to us right after lunch. Airline lock. I always use one. Even though I know nobody's gonna mess with the trailer here on private property. Uh, I still just don't want nobody messing with my trailer. <laughs> So I do that. Hey, check this out. They had the concrete slab. I saw it. Lined it up perfect. First try. <laughs> when I pulled in. So anyway, we're going to let our landing gear down. Uh, disconnect from the trailer. Pull up in line. And uh, hopefully they'll get us uh, in and out before dark. Boom. All right. We'll talk to y'all in a little bit. Yo. Oh. What's up, YouTubes? Me and the Duck Man. Oh, come on, Duck Duck. Get it. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Get to it, Daddy. Get to it. Oh, oh, hey, my body. What's up? <laughs> All right. Hold on. I'll put the phone down. So, hey, everybody. Just want to say hey for Daddy does his thing. Daddy's going to talk to y'all about some what all he had to get done fixed on the truck today. Yeah. Say it was, it was, it was mentally exhausting for me. I had to stay in the truck with dad the whole time. My dad was working on it. We couldn't get out. We were stuck. And there was guys, big guys walking around. They were walking around the truck. Yeah, they were walking. I had to growl at them. All right. <laughs> All right. So, we got the truck fixed in Sykeston, Missouri. X662 I-55. And so, the uh, the name of the company, you can see it, uh, Trucks Incorporated. So, uh, let's see, I figured I'd go over everything. So it says here, they replaced the input seal of the front drive axle, pulled unit into the shop, removed the catwalk above the drive line, removed the rear drive line section, removed the yoke and castle nut, cleaned nut threads in the rear end, installed new seal into Newcastle nut into Newcastle nut. Okay, install nut with lock tight as required. Install new wear sleeve on the yoke. Installed yoke with new nut and washer. Reinstall drive line and catwalk. Drained rear end fluid. Pumped new fluid in and checked all drive line U joints per customer request. Me. What I asked him to do was while you're under there and you got to take the drive shaft loose, check my U joints front to back, make sure all my U joints are good. There's no signs of wear, like excessive wear where it's kind of loose because that causes vibrations. Uh, they checked all that. Everything's good and tight. Nothing's loose. Nothing's worn excessively or anything like that. You're good to go with that. So, the input kit that they mentioned was $193. Cleaner was $9. The HD, HDWR kit was $26. And... The ADW90 oil they put in it, $128. Oh. 
All right, so that was the first thing that they did. 2.7 hours of labor at $130 an hour. That's more than what they charged me in Dothan, Alabama at the Volvo place there. At the Volvo place there, labor rate was a hundred and I think hundred and nine dollars an hour. I think that's right. Anyway, they went up on the labor cost, I guess, because when I read the reviews, I think the labor cost was like 105, maybe 110 bucks an hour. This is 130. So that explains the uh, increased cost more than what I thought it would be. Uh, so the, the total labor was 351 for that job. Uh, the parts was 229 and the gas and oil, whatever, what gas, it's just oil, uh, 128 bucks. Okay. So the second thing that I had them do, cause here's what, I ha here's the deal. Once they put the seal in and seal all that up, they have to let it sit for two hours before you can drive it. So. What we did was, I said, hey, I got some other issues with the truck, electrical issues. If you could fix those for me, I'd appreciate it while we're waiting. So they said, sure, so they fixed those. So what they did there was checked operation of the lights per customer request. That's me. Checked light operation and found right fog light out and right side high beam out. Removed bumper corner See, I don't do that. When I take the fog light out, I just take those three nuts out, pull the whole assembly out. He, by removing the bumper, it makes it easier to get to it. I think that's what he was doing. But anyway, he put it back. Hopefully it stays and it don't fall off. So anyway, uh, let's see. Removed right, uh, removed bumper corner. R&R &R fog light bulb. Reinstalled bumper corner. Removed the high beam bulb and found it faulty he showed it to me uh like where the little prongs go up in there to where the little element is one of them was cracked so when you're riding down the road and it's vibrating it's loose it's not making a connection you stick your hand in there and move the wire it causes it to touch then it makes the connection and the light comes on makes you think it's a short in the wire when it was actually the bulb how much it cost me to replace that bulb you think I don't know, let's look and see. Total labor, 0.6 hours at 80 bucks. No, that was at 80 bucks. So the labor cost there was only 80 bucks an hour versus the other one, which was 130 bucks an hour. So 0.6, it came out to $48 worth of labor. So that's not bad. That's cheaper than what the TA would charge you. The parts was eight, $19. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bub. Uh, uh, yeah, one bulb was seven dollars, the other bulb was twelve dollars. Um, environmental charge eight dollars. All right, so let's see what else we got back here. Uh, so it's showing the labor costs at three ninety nine. Parts, $247, uh, oil and grease, $128, EPA service charge, $8, sales tax, $28, for a grand total of $810. So, that's how much it costs us, $810. Bucks. Hopefully, oh, and another thing I did too. The reason I had him drain the fluid out of that chunk is because I wanted to make sure that there was no metal fragments in there floating around, you know, because what happens is when you drain it with that plug, that plug is actually magnetic and it tr pulls all the metal down to that plug to keep the little pieces of metal from getting up into your thing, you know. So it pulls all the metal down there and keeps it down on the bottom of the uh, of your chunk. So he checked it, he said there was no excessive metal pieces fragments he said you have normal shavings just from the metal on metal wear and tear you know so he said it looked good and see no issues with it so keep your fingers crossed we don't have no troubles with our rear end after this 
uh, the seal and everything hopefully is good. We need to get the truck washed so we can clean that up and keep an eye on it. And uh, so we'll see what we can do from there. I still got to get the blower fans fixed over here. They're not blowing up here in the cab. And I also need to, I kind of want to do a pressure check on the radiator just to see if it might be leaking fluid somewhere because every, maybe about once a week, I'm having to put about a half a gallon of fluid in it. So I think maybe I have a leak somewhere. I, I don't know what else to think. So I would like to get a pressure check done on it. But anyway, that's what we had done today. So hopefully we'll truck up, keep running for a while. So it's like I said, we, the engine rebuild, let's see, we're at 960,000 miles right now. When I bought the truck, they put the engine, rebuilt the engine, it was at 840. So 120,000 miles on an engine rebuild. <laughs> With the good Lord willing, maybe I can get another two or three hundred thousand miles out of it before I have any more issues with the engine. Serious issues anyway, heavy duty rebuilding kind of issues. So we'll see. Anyway, we're in West Memphis. We're fixing to hit the sack, get us some sleep. Get up in the morning and head over to where we got a delivery at over in Memphis. It's about 20 miles away. It's over just off of uh, Highway 78, uh, just south of uh, 240, I-240, so. Industrial complex over there. So, we're gonna go over there in the morning, get our first drop off, and then head on down to Pensacola. Be down there hopefully tomorrow before dark. Get parked and deliver first thing Thursday morning, and then book our butt over to, boom, Louisiana. Just uh, do, 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 do. southwest of New Orleans. So that's where we're gonna be headed to pick up over there and uh, head back up towards Atlanta. Deliver up there Friday morning. And now we're still looking for a load right now out of Atlanta. So fingers crossed we find something tomorrow. All right. So thank y'all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. Boop. Boop. I'm sorry. I'm just a silly kid and an old man's body. I can't help it. I think my brain's not fully developed. Maybe it'll finish developing as I get older. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, thank y'all so much. I appreciate everything y'all been doing for our channel. Uh, we're knocking on the door of 440 on subscribers, so that's awesome. Thank y'all so much. Uh, once again, I, I want to thank the guys over there at Sykeston at uh, Trucks Incorporated Volvo. Uh, they had a bunch of beautiful Volvo trucks out there. Man, if I was in the mindset to get a new truck, I definitely go Volvo. <laughs> I just feel like the uh, the uh, engineering and the workmanship and everything on them is just hands above pack car. It's above, I think it's even better than Cummins, to be honest with you. Um, and the transmissions and the regen systems, I think are way above the average trucks. Getting worse, freight, especially Freightliner. I got some friends that drive those new Freightliners, and I'm pretty sure from listening to them talk, they wouldn't buy another one. <laughs> so anyway, uh, great guys over there. I really appreciate all their help. Uh, Matt, he was the service uh, uh, coordinator guy over there. And uh, like I said, they treated me real nice. I got there around 11. They got me in right after lunch, got me out of there way before dark. And uh, so that was awesome. I really appreciate it. I uh, was not expecting to get it done that quickly, to be honest with you, but I'm so glad I did. I don't have to worry about that no more. So anyway, we're gonna jump back here and get us some sleep. And we will be talking to y'all again tomorrow morning. Not for this video though. You'll have to check out the other video for that. All right. 
All right, thank you so much. Y'all have a great day. We'll talk at you soon, because you know what it is. It's Hulk Day. Woo-hoo!